Mr. King dies, I'm the gamest in the land. I never play nice, I'm the devil's right hand man. All right, we have bombs now, and I swear, Jimmy looks like uh, when he when he when he does that little smile during this first phase. I swear to God, he looks like Calculon from Futurama. He's got kind of a Calculon from or like just any really any character from Futurama looking smug. Or Zap Brannigan is another example of who he looks like. And of course, now now Jimmy being. A great pillar of the community. He just thinks he's so funny. Laugh it up, genie boy. You did jerk. All right. And now a sarcophagus has a tongue, apparently. In case you ever wanted to be licked by the hoary undead. Of course, I don't remember which universal monster picture had a, a sarcophagus with a snail tongue thing in it. I don't recall that part. That's something I was uh, ever thinking. When thinking about a little man with a cup for a head. All right. All right. And boom. All right, so number four is going to be the magic one. Boom. Fun fact for you there, every fourth little bean that comes out of him is going to be a pink one. Dang. Another fun fact, if you get hit by the beans, you die. Ah, uh, there we go. Oh, 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 down, down, down. All right. Uh, 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 there we go. Another one for you. One... One for your fiance, one for your mom, one for your tongue, several for your tongue, little creepy tongue thing. All the ways this game could be creepy, and I choose you as the creepiest part, Mr. Tongue Creature Sir. I genuinely don't get what you are trying to reference. Everything else makes sense. I get the sarcophagus and stuff, but why does the sarcophagus have sort of a red tongue thing that comes out and goes, Bleh! I've never seen that anywhere. How dare you demonstrate an original thought, an original bit of creativity in a game that is an homage to anything but creativity. I mean, or, well, you know what I mean. Anyway, or maybe you don't. Maybe I'm just talking on my booty butt. It's been known to happen. I got beamed again, all right. Boom, there we go. Uh, there we go, okay. Final phase. Okay, this is gonna suck because usually I got a bomb about this or the, the big bomb form right about this time. Ah, ah. Okay, good. No, oh, there we go. Dang it! All right, be super careful there. There we go. Ha ha ha! Nicey, nice. Cough your brains out there, big guy. Cough your brains out. So now we got the charge shot. One of the interesting things I've noticed about the charge shot now, it used to be that in order to use the charge shot effectively, sometimes I had to do a little jump because it used to like to collide with the ground as I, I would do a run and gun thing. Got to be running like this, and then I'd shoot, and it would sort of collide with the ground. It doesn't do that anymore now, so I don't have to like do this little jump anymore when I'm using the charge shot. I can just use it as normal and not have to worry too much. Uh... I do still have to worry about parrying, though. That is a thing I... A skill I probably should not have lost. Oh, my God. You stupid little beans. And now it's this cupcake. Cuphead versus cupcake. Who will come out on top? The pink jelly bean. Now, apparently, now you can also hold a shot while you're parrying. So, I'm going to try to experiment with that. It used to be that if you were holding your charge shot... Um, and you tried to parry something, you would, you would lose your charge. So let's try it. Hey, I kept my charge. Awesome sauce. 
shake your little fist at me in impotent rage. Please, no cupcake. Doggone it, stupid cupcake. Now, how many situations are there in life where you would turn, you would be angry that you're being offered a cupcake? I want to say this is probably the only time. Ah, doggone. There we go. And, oh boy, here comes the head. Here comes the dumb head. Now here's the other thing too. Uh, there was a fix done to Baroness Von Bonbon bon that if I die, it used to be that it did not show your progress correctly. There we go, if you died, if you died. I did not die during that phase. It, uh, there used to be, if you died during that phase, it didn't show your progress correctly. It does now, so that was fixed. Awesome sauce. All right, let's just get it out of the way. I hate this stupid clown, so let's just do the clown next. Uh, hopefully, Beppy will be slightly easier for me. No, I don't have to do that. There we go. Oh, dude. Little charge shot in the face for you. Oh, man, I hate this stupid clown. Clowns aren't funny. Ah, that was not funny. That was definitely not funny. Don't anybody laugh. No laughing at me. While I deal with this stupid clown. Ah, oh, doggone it. Dang it. Dang it, dang it, dang it. I got trapped. <laughs> that was entrapment. Hey, no. Stupid balloon. Don't confront me none. As long as I get your booty butt on a platter by next Friday. Ah! Step off me, dog. Get off me, rubber dog. Rubber stupid dog. Oh, man, my timing is off now. But, oh, actually... They work to my benefit here. Ah. All right. Next. There we go. All right. That's better. Got my timing back on track here. That's good. That's good. Wah! Life is so unfair to clowns. You made the choice to put the face paint on. Own it. All right. Okay. from behind by a baseball Ugh, summer camp all over again let's try this again stupid everything everything is stupid everything is bad when you're a rubbery clown thank you all right okay we are two hit points that's a good place to be going into the final phase Time to beat the Umbrella Corporation here. I'm gonna call you Albert Wesker. For no particularly good reason. Here we go. Let me tell you something. If I didn't like clowns before. You can bet this uh, this level, this boss, this idiot right here, this airhead, if you will, did not make the uh, not help me come around on it at all. There, oh, that was awesome timing right there. Okay. There we go.
Nobody knew I was going to be there. How did he know I was? That's cheating. That's cheating. You are not allowed to read my mind, game. You are not allowed to read my mind. Not fair. Not fair. Clairvoyance is cheating. I don't care what anybody says. All right, next. Inflate your head. Inflate your head, protect your neck. Oh, you ain't got no neck, do you? I mean, unless that string is your neck or something. I don't know how... I don't I don't know how balloon anatomy works, okay? I mean, I know there was that one character in, what was it, The Amazing World of Gumball or whatever that uh, had uh, a balloon body, and they, they did some episodes that played with the idea of like having invisible air-like balloon organs or whatever but you know i didn't really pay too much attention during those episodes if i'm being entirely honest here nice okay going into the final phase with three points of health nice all health means I might even be able to soak one or two of those stupid baseballs. Yes. I just said that it is my greatest desire to be able to soak the balls. But I didn't mean it like that. Well, doggone. Looks like I found the zone and brought down the Umbrella Corporation. Bye bye clown. Never have to deal with you again. In this run, anyway. I just A-plus the doggone clown. <laughs> bye bye you insane clown person. Person. Stupid balloons. Do not shoot the balloons. By the way, if you're new to this game, the most important tip I can give you is do not shoot the balloons. There's more trouble than it's worth. You can parry the pink ones, but do not shoot any of them. They, they make little beams that spread all over the place and annoy the crippity crazies out of me. No magicians. The magic is gone from our relationship. Okay. Now, let's see if we can remember the pattern here. Oh, yep, yeah, topmost. Now he's going to go to the bottom. Good time to do that. Let's get you guys cleared out quickly. There we go. No surprise, magician from behind, please. Ah! And this is like the most worthless character in the entire game. Like, it, it, like you could just stand off screen and he doesn't even get his attack off. That's crazy. Okay, watch out for flying mustard. At least I hope that's mustard. Uh, I really hope that's relish. There we go. Uh, uh. You don't actually have to kill the hot dog. I just like to. Yeah. Looks give me three fingers. I'll give him one finger. All right, here we go. There's the three fingers. Yeah, I got a finger for you as well, homeboy. Blah! All right, well. 
You're gonna steal attacks from the Super Mario Brothers too. At least you stole the good ones, I guess. Ah oh, man, that's shrapnel though. Ah. Oh. There we go. Yeah. Uh huh. Don't you, don't you shake your feathers at me, young man. Nice little hit there. Okay, I'll take it. One thing I do like about fighting this guy is you get a ton of parry opportunities with him. Oh, there we are. Skadoosh! Hey! Take that, baby Huey. Uh, what just happened there? Well, dear. Yeah, no response from any of the buttons at all. And, well, hey, the thing was that there were many other problems that were being caused. Who knows? Maybe I'm documenting a whole new one. So 